Welcome, folks, to Rice Eccles Stadium, Big City. Easily one of the most passionate and still underrated environments in college football. This crowd ready to roar for the Utes. It can be a tough place for visitors to win. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number 13 team in the country, the U Cougars, taking on another Big 12 team, the Utah Utes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Hermstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Utes will kick this away to get us going. Turn to trying to create good field position. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Play action here on first down. And look, he's going to take a shot right away. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. Chris, they don't hit this pass, but I love the approach here as a play caller. Taking a shot and being aggressive. Getting that ball downfield. Stretching that defense. Try to keep those safeties back. It can open up other aspects of your offense. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Using his legs. It's Martin. They'll tackle him out across the 20. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be a tight matchup. It's third and six, a challenging spot here on the opening drive. To throw, it's Redslaff. And the pass is complete to the tight end. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down, convert, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. And the Cougars come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Here's the second down play. They'll try the right here. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Gosh, Chris, I just love this atmosphere. The home field advantage on full display. The defense flying around with energy. Nice job there on that third down of using the energy from the crowd to make that stop. The Cougars will line up to punt it away. Oh, it landed at the 7 and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Here comes the jet sweep trying to run it to the edge. Goes backwards, losing 3 yards there. I mean, you know, I don't want to get away from a jet sweep. I think it's a good call. This one just didn't work out. So now you're way behind on the sticks. After the first down loss, it's second and long in the 17. To the air, it's Wilson. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. A couple things that really stood out to me here, Chris, on this nice play by the corner. Awareness to be able to see the wide receiver screen and then the willingness to get involved and run support and make the tackle. Great play. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now.
And the Utes will have to punt this one away. Looking to flip the field here. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the BYU offense back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Throws to the tight end. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And this time it's complete. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the marker, inches away. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Looks right for a quick completion. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. And the Cougars come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Looking to pass, it's Redslaff. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. It's just good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. Second down now after the sack. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the marker. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. And all day in the pocket, finally delivers down the middle. The pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now down. And the Cougars will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And the punt head's out of bounds. They'll spot this ball about the 30. And the Utah offense takes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on the way. The offense behind the six off schedule there after the first down play. Keeping it on the ground here. The game moves the ball to a 34. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Pittman. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. The pre snap motion from the offense. Looking to throw. It's Wilson. And it falls incomplete. 
Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Gives it to the back. Great cut there. Important third down play coming up. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle, it's Parks. Rubbed out of the 46, good enough for a first down. Chris, it's not always the big, tall receiver that gives these defenses headaches on slant routes. Sometimes it can be that undersized guy from the slot. It's very tough to get your hands on. The Utes pick up enough for a first down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Caught behind the line. It's Keefe. They've got him after a seven-yard gain. So second and three. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Tight end goes in motion. Gonna run it. It's Glover. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Utes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. So, second down after the incompletion. Runner takes off to his right. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So a tough third and long on the 10th play of the drive. Dropping back, it's Wilson. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Chris, this guy has a big time arm. He just zipped the ball in there. You know, you can sometimes show your arm strength in other ways than just bombing it deep. And the Utes are going to take advantage of this red zone trip. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Catch made, looking for the goal line. Brought down after the catch, but at the eight-yard line. The offense threatening here. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Motion now from the tight end. The back's got it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Graham behind the line. It's Parks. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. So here we go, an exciting start to the quarter as the offense sets up with a first and goal. Motion by the back, defense better adjust. Bringing pressure. 
Here's a throw underneath to the back. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no gain. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Second and goal for the offense. Looking to score, they'll run it to the right side. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Utes. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So the BYU offense comes back out onto the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. And they come up with something here. Fighting off the defender. Finally out of bounds after a solid gain, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. That run moves the ball to the 16. Important second down play coming up. To throw, it's Redslaff. Catch made over the middle. Brought down at the 28, and that's good enough for a first down. New set of downs after that completion. And off here from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. After a first down loss, it's second and long under 25. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Quick throw, complete to the tight end. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. Third down upcoming after that completion. They'll try to run for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Offense getting set. It's second down. Grab behind the line. It's Roberts. Looks like BYU will have the first down. First down here for this offense. And 
And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you get a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Come to the line for second down and very short now. They're going to run it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So now from the 29, it's third down and short. Let's see what the play call is going to be here. Already in field goal range, but of course, thinking touchdown. They pick up the first down, tackled at the 25. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back through just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. BYU getting set with a first and 10 now. They'll run it here. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Scanning the field, it's Redslaff. A screen pass complete to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. The Cougars come to the line with first and goal. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. Second down and goal, upcoming. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Gets back to the line, but no closer to the end zone than that. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here, and maybe you hold them to three points. After a long drive, it's a crucial four-point play. Can they score a touchdown or have to settle for three? And it's incomplete in the very back of the end zone. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So a field goal attempt coming up now. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. And that is no good. And after the miss, still down by seven. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Utah offense takes the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking, move right down the field for a touchdown. The quarterback keeps it on the option. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. The pass rush closing in. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Well, the offense tries to go with a play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying it. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. Second 
So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Let's it go under heavy pressure, taking a shot. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. The quarterback did all he could here to wait until the last possible moment, but he waits just a hair too long, which allows the defense to actually hit him as he throws the ball. And the Utes will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Fair catch made at the 35. Here comes the BYU offense back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. They're going to run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Dropping back, it's Redslaff. Tries the right with a quick throw. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Set. Here's second down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Pass not complete. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Got to do something here on third down to get back in range. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. And they will trot out the field goal team here. The attempt will be from 42 yards out. And the field goal is good. Snap. The hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Utes offense takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? 
With the catch, it's Parks. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Pass complete. It's second down now. Back to pass. It's Wilson. It's an out route. The catch made. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. First down and 10. And the quarterback dropping back. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. It's a big gain all the way to enemy territory, tackled at the 45. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. The Utes getting set on first and 10. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Caught on the outside. It's Keithy. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Pass caught, second down now. From the shotgun, drops back. Looking to make a play deep downfield. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah. This is a nice touchdown and a great play call. Just get this receiver in space and let him make people miss and use his speed to get to the end zone. That's what they did here, and it pays off. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The PAT is good, so it's a 14-3 lead. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the BYU offense back out on the field. It's hard to win these games just kicking field goals. They need to find the end zone here. Some urgency. Grab down the middle. It's Roberts. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. The timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Looking to pass here on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Hill. Big game. Moves the ball across midfield to the 45. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Looking to pass. It's Redslaff. Let's it go quickly. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. Trying to knock it through from 48 yards away. The attempt is no good. He missed it. But there's a flag on the field, so let's check this out. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. Knocks that one right down the middle. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Fields it inside the five-yard line. 
The coverage team brings him down to the final play of this first half. Meta's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. And the Cougars will kick this away to get the second half going. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Now it's second down here. Looking downfield, it's Wilson. Over the middle and incomplete. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. On first down, it's play action. Gets made on the out route. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. The Utes are on the move here. They'll try to pick up the yardage on the ground. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. A game makes it second and medium. tackle him but not before he picks up the first what i love here with the quarterback is he knew exactly where he needed to go to get that first down and the utes will line up on first and ten to the air it's wilson grab made by the tight end he gets past the tackle into open space now Tackle made after a big game. That'll put him over 150 yards today, Kirk. He is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. Off the play fake on first down. And the sophomores got him for a sack. There we go. The defense is able to finally get some pressure on this guy. That's one way to slow him down. He has had one heck of a drive, but this time, give the defense some credit for getting after him. That sack makes it second down and forever. Quarterback drops back. Caught quickly. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Offense thinking touchdown, not field goal, facing a third and long from the 20-yard line. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. 
Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. The attempt will be from 42 yards out. And that one's straight down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So the BYU offense comes back out onto the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. And the Cougars hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. Scanning the field, it's Redslaff. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Man heads out of bounds after a decent gain. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. Try and muscle for the first down. He shreds the tackle. And that is a first down gain. Moves the ball to the 40. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Hill. makes it second down. He'll hand it off. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete, brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Second down play coming up. Back to pass. It's Redslaff. Quick completion with the tight end. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. They call the draw play here. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go and now fourth down.
The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. This will be an attempt from 52 yards. Let's see if he's got the distance. He missed it. Missed opportunity to make this a one-score game. Still losing by 11. And the Utah offense takes the field. They love to produce some points and build this lead, but also work on the clock here. Receiver makes the grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. And completion makes it second and short. There's the snap, looking to throw the ball. And he finds the running back in the flat. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Brings loose at the 40. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Just a great gain here by this offense and by the quarterback on the option call. And this defense has got to get back to old school assignment football. Somebody has got to account for the quarterback. Nobody had him there, and he comes up with a big gain. And the Utes offense is on the move now. Little eye candy here from the offense, some pre-snap motion. Off the play fake, looking to throw. There's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? Movement here from the tight end. On the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Utes. Easy choice to decline the pass interference call, and the touchdown stands. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. 
Well, this is what's so dangerous about this offense, Chris. They have the ability to put the ball in the air downfield and really stretch those safeties back. This time, they hit it for a big game. The Cougars come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Second down after that previous play. Dropping back, it's Retzlaff. Oh, a nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting in the way of that and knocking it away. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Caught over the middle. It's Roberts. And the ball to the ground. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. And one final play before the end of the quarter. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. Goes out of bounds, but a huge pickup on the play to wrap up the third quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. This will be interesting. They're going to trust the kicker from 57 yards out. Can he get it there? And the attempt is no good. After the miss, it's still an 18-point lead. Here comes the BYU offense back out on the field. Frustration in the last drive. They moved the territory, but coughed it up. Can't afford that. Down on the scoreboard now. With the catch, it's Martin. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Cougars come to the line in the hurry up. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Picks up a short game, but is swarmed by the defense flying to the football.
second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Redslap. Makes a quick grab. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Hill. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. It's an RPO. The quarterback gets it out quickly. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Well, with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw on the quick slant, gets some really good yards. Pass caught. Can he get in? Brought down at the three, but that's enough for a first and goal. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Brigham Young. See if they can convert the point after. Extra point is good. It's still down 11, 24-13. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Utah offense takes the field. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. That completion makes it second and medium. Looking to throw. It's Wilson. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Now I like to run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first, while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Second down play coming up for this offense. And now the running back's got it again. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. That gain sets up a third down play. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. The Utes pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Quick call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down and 
Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. Short throw complete to the tight end. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. The Utes are going to keep this drive rolling. And the wideout goes in motion. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Receiver makes the catch. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. It's second down after that completion. To throw, it's Wilson. And he dumps it off to the tight end. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? And they pick up the first on the ground. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Boy, as a head coach, you preach fourth quarter offense all year long. The importance of being able to finish out a game. This is a great example. They have secured this football, this drive. They've been able to convert on third downs, and they keep moving this clock. This is a clinic on how to run a four-minute offense. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Looking for the wideout. He's got it for a big game. Both out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. You know, they've got a lead here late in the game, and the play calling, I think, shows you how much confidence they have in this quarterback. He's had a pretty clean game today, and this decision to still throw the ball with the lead shows you that they believe he's going to make the right decisions and make accurate throws. They'll hand it off fights through a tackle. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Makes the grab. It's Parks. They bring him down at the five. Solid gain, though, in the completion. How about that play call here, Chris? I mean, I'm thinking they're going to run the football and continue to work this clock. This gives you an idea how much confidence they have in their passing game and his quarterback being able to throw the football with the lead in the fourth quarter. Completion, and you're able to keep that clock moving. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Was that supposed to be a sweep? Unbelievable job by this defense of recognizing the play and showing their speed there to blow this play up. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the 11. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. Only a short game in that run. Defense able to pen him in. And they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Urgency here. Got to cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Right Offense moving backwards here. A long way from the goal line now. Third and goal, we'll try to make it on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. It'll be a 26-yard attempt, should be automatic. Right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points.
Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. So no return here. He takes him in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. Here comes the BYU offense back out on the field. Dropping back. It's Red Slaff. It's an out route. The catch made. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. One play moves the ball to the 44. It'll be first down. Here's the snap. And he's looking to throw. He pulls it in for a big game. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Martin. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Now the offense is taking advantage of the defense kind of sitting back with this lead. That's back-to-back -back plays of big yards. You know, it's a bend-but-don't-break mentality from this defense, but they might want to reevaluate because this offense is moving the ball too quickly down the field. Looking to throw it again. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, BYU. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. You cover an onside kick. You never know. And now they'll set up for the point after. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the Utes offense takes the field. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. The backs got it on a counter. And that football is out. A potentially game-changing play. But who's got it? The offense able to retain possession. Very lucky to still have a chance to win this. And the Utes expect to be able to run this clock out and claim the W. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. And off in a single back formation. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. And the Utes will line up to kick it away. He's on to boot it away now. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. They need to score quickly here, trying to dial up some big plays. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. 